I just changed from a one-time purchase to a subscription model for one of my apps. And I'm wondering if that change will increase my revenue. So I will be spending the next week focused on marketing instead of development. The app I'm talking about is LaunchBuddy. It's a project management tool specifically made for solo indie developers, just like you and me, making apps on Apple platforms. You can give it a try completely for free by just searching for LaunchBuddy on the iOS or macOS app store or by using the link in the video description. So on day one, I started by creating short form content, which means YouTube shorts, TikTok and Instagram reels to showcase specific features. I started with just a single video and I reposted it on all three of these platforms. I have way more app ideas that I could ever work on. So I built an app to keep track of those ideas and I can even manage them once I actually start working on the ideas. Download LaunchBody for free on your iPhone and Mac today. It had a very clear call to action, which means uh, something that I want the user or the viewer to do, which is to download the app, obviously, and a great hook talking about my struggles while developing apps. Now, um, the feature that I decided on for the first video were app ideas. So I talked about that I have way too many app ideas and I can't even handle them all or implement them all. So I made LaunchBody to save all of them and then work on them later on. So I just focused this video on just a single feature of the app. And then I also decided to post on Reddit and I chose the r slash side project subreddit because I figured that side project subreddit is probably filled with a lot of solo indie developers, which is part of my target audience. Now, of course, uh, LaunchBody is only really meant for macOS and iOS developers who have a Mac to actually run the app. Not everyone from that subreddit is probably a target customer, but I figured it's close enough to get some feedback. And then I also tweeted about a new update that I launched within LaunchBuddy on my Twitter account, which you can follow at FlowRightsCode, same name as on YouTube. And on the second day, I actually decided to try one more Reddit post and I posted on r slash Mac apps, which is a subreddit for macOS apps. And I got a few upvotes and some really nice feedback that I'm actually already working on adding to LaunchBuddy right now. Before this week, I actually just changed LaunchBuddy from a one-time pay-what-you-want model to a subscription model. So before the change, there were four different options to purchase the pro version and you could choose whichever one you wanted. They were differently priced, I think 5, 10, 20 and 50 dollars, around about that. And most people obviously chose the lowest tier, but all of them gave you the same features. I just wanted to add this so people who really appreciate the app can maybe pay a bit more if they so choose to. And people who just want to try out the pro features can uh, pay a little bit lower. But I now changed it to a subscription model. And so far, only one user has purchased a monthly subscription. And the download numbers are also flattening out right now before I started this challenge. So. I just had to change something and start making real marketing efforts, which is something that I always neglected before. On the third day, I decided to write this post on my YouTube community tab. It got a few interactions and I actually gained a yearly subscriber on the third day as well, which is really nice. But then something happened on day four, which is I started working on another project. I had a new app idea. I played around with a new API and um, yeah, what can I say? I spent all of the fourth and fifth day working on that app idea. The idea is actually not that bad. It's meant for content creators just like myself. I just want to have my short form content creation be done a bit faster. So I made an app that automatically adds subtitles to my short form like vertical videos, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels and TikToks. And it can also highlight keywords and uh, do some more AI stuff like extracting keywords, hashtags, give me title ideas and description ideas. So I spent all of day four and day five working on that project instead of doing marketing. But I just wanted to keep this in this video because that's how life as an indie developer sometimes goes. You get distracted by that new shiny project idea and then stop doing marketing, which you should really do more of. On the sixth day, I actually decided to go back into marketing stop working on that other side project and I created a press release using impresskit.com and I also updated my press kit with some new screenshots and lifestyle photos and I actually reached out to I think six different press contacts and two newsletters for a sponsorship opportunity. I've, I figured why not sponsor an email newsletter with LaunchBuddy 
to bring it directly in front of iOS developers. And also on day six, one of my new YouTube videos that I already scheduled weeks ago got released, which had a mention of launch, launch body in it as well. It's time for the final day, day seven. I actually got another monthly subscriber, so three active subscriptions right now. The app was also ranked uh, place 49 in developer tools in Germany. And I heard back from one of the newsletters and actually also the next day from the second newsletter, but both of them were out of my budget right now, but that might be interesting for a future video. So if you wanna uh, learn about newsletter marketing for your iOS apps, just leave a comment down below and I might actually do that. So here's what I learned. Marketing isn't that hard, you just have to do it. In my case, I wrote a few Reddit posts, a few tweets, YouTube community tab, got in contact with a bit of press. Here's some homework for you. Find a Reddit community that fits your app and write at least a few different posts there. Interact with the people in that community. Ask them for feedback about your app, not necessarily trying to sell the app. And then also I really, really want you to create one vertical video of your app and post it on YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels and TikTok. You know, you might think, hey, I don't do any videos. I don't do YouTube, Instagram or TikTok. Well, I get that. But all of these algorithms actually don't really care too much about if you have an active account. So on TikTok, you can get hundreds to thousands of views without having any followers. And the same is true for YouTube and to some extent for Instagram Reels as well. So really there's nothing to lose. Just do a 10 to 15 second video clip of your app and upload it to all three of these. But now let's talk about the results that I got. So these right here are my App Store Connect statistics for LaunchBuddy for the week prior to my marketing experiment. And as you can see, I got 1.6 thousand impressions, 187 product page reviews, and 25 downloads. I would say that this is yeah, kind of a normal, normal week of impressions page views and downloads for LaunchBuddy. And as you can see, the total downloads by source are from App Store Browse and App Store Search. And now having a look at the week of the challenge, which was January 27th to February 2nd, 2023, I increased my impressions to 3.9K, so about 2.5 times the impressions in the App Store, which is very nice. A ton of product page views, 557 and 77 total downloads. So this is actually a very nice increase, I would say. And then having a look at the download source, 28 downloads came from App Store Search, 24 from App Store Browse, and 19 from Web Referrals. So let's have a look at them. And having a look at the Web Referrals for this specific week, 45 impressions came from reddit.com. So from the two posts that I wrote over on r slash site project and r slash Mac apps, and they converted to eight total downloads. Then t.co is probably Twitter. So that led to 21 impressions and two downloads. And then, and then the last relevant one is youtube.com, which led to four impressions and one download. Now I'm not sure about these exact numbers because there's also apple.co in there as a web referral. But the thing is apple.co is just a short link that I use to redirect all of my um, yeah, social media posts to the App Store page for LaunchBuddy. So I'm not sure how these are handled right here. They are listed as their own web referrer. So I would assume that they are distributed through Reddit, Twitter, and YouTube in actuality. All right, so looking back at this challenge, I did get an increase in all of my metrics for actually very little effort. And I do plan on doing all of these steps that I just did way more in the future. Now, I didn't hear back from any of the press contacts that I wrote an email to which is kind of what I expected. I never have luck with them for some reason. Maybe it's my email copy. I have no idea what it is, but I will try again in the future. But I also especially want you to create some vertical videos and post them on shorts, reels and TikTok. I think this is a completely free opportunity for you to gain a few hundred to thousands of impressions for your apps. This is the end of the video, but I want you to leave a comment down below with any more marketing ideas that you have for me that I should try out in a future video.